Okay, so here we are at the Google screen, where, um, wherever you're, when you get into your Safari app. And I'm going to teach you how to navigate around NoteFlight. So the first thing we need to do is put in your website. It is Exley, that's already up here, dash elementary dot sites dot noteflight dot com. Now hopefully you only have to do that one time because it'll come up on the search feature and you just have to hit there or it may be already bookmarked for you. So once you do that you'll get to this one. Now your username, the first thing I'm going to teach you is how to log in and then how to log out because logging out is going to be extremely important. So to log in you're going to use your grade level I'll use fourth grade, space, dash, space, and then your teacher's name. In this case, I'll use Miss Figura. All right, and then your password is going to be uh, your teacher's name again. Make sure you capitalize her first initial, or his first initial, and then put 2016. And then log in. Okay, now you're going to go to here where it says new score so you're going to tap that and then you'll get to this menu right here you want to go to treble clef please don't go to bass clef please go to treble clef tap that and hit ok and this is how it appears now the first thing I want you to do is title your piece with your names in your groups. So in my case, I'll put my name, I'll put my friend's name, and my other friend's name. Okay, and I'll hit enter, and there's the title of my piece. Now before we go any further, this is where I want to teach you how to log out. Now to make sure your work is saved so you'll find it again, make sure this little cloud that says save is not darkened the way it's here it looks dark so nothing is saved so I'm going to click that to save it and you saw how it faded away that means stuff is saved alright now note flight is nice about notifying you if you did not save stuff so you'll get a warning if in case you are fixing the save okay and then to log out you're going to go to this picture right here and you see how it shifted over you're going to click this area here and then go to log out click that and you're back at the home screen now let's go ahead and re-log back in so we know what we're doing okay and there is my piece and I'm going to click on it And here is my piece. Now, if you remember how this goes, you need three menus here, three important menus. One is the edit, the other is the duration, and the other is the text. You really don't need anything else. Um, so if you just want to check those three, and that's it, then that'll work. And then, let's see, my three are checked. And then, your keyboard, make sure your C4 is always here. And then finally, we want to change the instruments. The instruments, we want it to be a marimba. So we're going to click instruments. Click this pencil. That means edit. And then this is the menu that you should be getting all the instruments here. You want to go to pitched percussion. Hit that triangle and scroll down to hit marimba. Okay, this is a new little wrinkle that we've discovered. Okay, then hit OK. And now, after you do that, it should have marimba here. And then X out. So now, anything that you hit should be a marimba sound. So, let's see. I want to take my first rhythm, and on my paper, in my very first box, I have... Um, something that says catch them catch them catch them now those are my lyrics and that's t t t t t t ta so i think i'm going to go ahead and i have my first note on the high c so i'm going to do catch them that's my c oops i should have done it here all right oops i have too many here so what am i going to do i'm just going to 
highlight that measure and hit the scissors. Okay, that's how you edit. You simply highlight and then hit the scissors. If it's just one little mistake, then you would hit the undo bar. Okay, so let me click the C, the high C, because I know that's where it is. And I want to make that a T, so I'm going to come up here and click that. All right, and then you come back down here and tap the C again. All right, and it's already a T, T, and it's T, 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 ta. So T, 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 and then ta. To change that to a ta, I'm just going to click that quarter note there. Now, suppose I wanted this to be a quarter note. All I would do is click on it with my finger and then go up here and change it there. If I change my mind and don't want it there anymore, I can simply hit undo. Okay, so these menus are extremely important. Now, let's see. My lyrics. Now with lyrics, you can do it a couple of ways. This is the first way. It's kind of the long way, but I'm going to teach it to you anyway. So for my lyrics, I'm going to highlight this first note, highlight it, and then I press this LA. Or I could highlight the entire measure, and it'll still, I'll press LA, and it'll still put it right here. Um, so you can do catch them, catch them, catch them now. Now you see all those mistakes that I made? I can easily go back by tapping on them. Like I need a comma here and then space and then here I need to take that E off. Notice how it just did it for me and then space and then I tap out so there is my um, there is my phrase. So catch them, catch them, catch them now. And I know my next measure is nothing but C's, high C's, so I'm going to play the high C again. Okay, and it's supposed to also be T, 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 T. So I'm going to change that ta to a T, 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 T. And again, I'm going to change that to a ta. Now, when you get here, I think my B is B, I think it's T, T, bring them back, change that to a T, bring them back. My words are bring them back, bring them back. So here I'm going to tap there. Hit the law, and it's going to be bring them back, bring them back. Ooh. Now, did you see what happened? How it kind of switched on me? Now, Note Flight naturally does that to make it look nice. Um, if you want to, if you do something like this where it glitches on you or you hit too many keys, remember, undo is your friend, and it'll back it up where you found, where you left off. Okay, now, let's see, I was right there, and I'm going to put the law again, bring them back, bring them back. Okay, and then my next measure, which I'm going to click on, was the same rhythm, T, 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 Ta. Okay. All right. And if you need to add another measure, you'll simply click on the measure. You'll click on this space between the gray space and the orange space, and you'll pop up those plus signs, and you'll tap the plus sign, and there's your extra measure. So this is what you have to do. And remember, don't forget to save your work. And at the end of class, don't forget to log out. Okay, good luck.